The arts and humanities are experiencing fundamental transformations in the digital age. What started in the 1950s as computer linguistics now offers new perspectives for the digital humanities. Virtual research environments enable us to work independent of time and location on one object, on one historical source, simultaneously. As a medievalist, what particularly pleases me is that we can access our cultural heritage in ways we never could before. We are creating scholarly memories, so to speak, which can be analysed with new methods. Another aspect of digital research is the enormous transparency and the possibility to make research results available to the broader public very quickly. Digital humanities, solving research questions with the help of IT-supported methods. But how can digital technology do justice to the variety of disciplines in the humanities, their different working methods and research questions? How do digital humanities function in research practices? And what are the advantages? For many years, our cultural heritage has been undergoing digitization piece by piece. Millions of research objects are being scanned and described in a standardized way. The goal? To make research collections systematically accessible and interlinked online, so that they can be made available for everyone. One example of the new possibilities that are emerging is a research group that is compiling a comprehensive digital dictionary of the classic Mayan language on the basis of all available Mayan hieroglyphic texts. Our working group consists of linguists, archaeologists and computer specialists who are all situated in different parts of Germany. At the same time, we're collaborating with archaeologists on location in Mexico and Guatemala. In order to maintain this network, we need a platform that enables us to communicate and to work simultaneously with the data. To fulfill these demands, reliable digital research infrastructures are necessary. The research and Development Department at the State and University Library in Göttingen has been coordinating large interdisciplinary digital humanities projects for over 10 years. In 2004, TextGrid had the goal of developing a virtual research environment to support the creation of digital editions. At that time, we didn't call it digital humanities. Consequently, from these activities, DARIA emerged, in which the purpose is to encourage different kinds of research questions and to support additional disciplines such as Jewish studies or musicology. With the help of new tools, musicologists are able to work with musical scores digitally. This generates completely new possibilities for analyzing and interpreting musicological sources, for example in correlating traditional variants of the score of Karl Maria von Weber's opera Der Freischütz. Suddenly, barriers are beginning to fall. Until now, if we as editors were previously dealing mainly with one work, we now begin to incorporate other pieces as well and integrate them in wider contexts. We also look at other composers. We can adopt data from other editions. I think barriers between other disciplines collapse as well. Collaboration then begins on a much broader scale. New questions emerge and you can accomplish quite different goals and tackle completely different things. The Steinheim Institute for German-Jewish History in Essen specializes in researching epitaphs on Jewish tombstones. It is tremendously important for our research that the tools provided by the digital infrastructure enable us to see our data in a synopsis. The GeoBrowser, for instance, 
allows us to observe and analyze our 27,000 data sets in their temporal and spatial distribution. The specific tools are developed and made available in close cooperation with researchers within the infrastructure projects. Academic libraries are ideally situated for establishing and operating digital research infrastructures. They provide support for the entire research life cycle in the humanities. By further developing research infrastructures, granting easier access to the large collections of texts, images and other types of data that we already have, so that they can be reused in projects and in individual research. We'd like to pursue these goals more strongly in instruction as well. Students should learn to use those techniques in their humanities studies from a very early stage, since they will be constantly confronted with digital methods in their later careers. They need to be prepared professionally in order to cope with these things. The interest in digital humanities among students is enormous and is met by an extensive range of academic options throughout Germany. Higher education in the digital humanities is very active at the moment. There are a number of places where DH is already established and many universities are introducing new courses of study and establishing new professorships, so that a very lively DH landscape is emerging. This is mirrored by an active community. A worldwide open exchange is taking place across disciplines, between experienced scholars and adventurous young academics. The digital humanities are colourful, versatile and in constant change. They've already established their place in the humanities and are inspiring new research questions, approaches and discoveries. The future will show what new knowledge they hold in store for us. <laughs>